Welcome to Personal Mastery Training. I'm your host, Alvin Brown, former world-class athlete turned entrepreneur and consultant. Join us as we learn from guests who have conquered their inner battles and share their journeys to success. Get ready for inspirational masterclasses and thought-provoking strategy sessions to fuel your path to personal mastery. Let's dive in. All right, everybody, let's call this strategy episode, Are You Carrying a Bucket or a Thimble? Here's the metaphor. You and I are going to walk to the ocean. It's going to take us about 30 minutes. We're going to walk a few kilometers, a few miles to the ocean. You can imagine you and I are walking together, same time, same amount of energy, the sun's hot, everything, we're, everything's equal. However, here's the deal. I'm going to take a bucket on this walk to the ocean to grab some water, and you're going to take a thimble. Now, some of you may not know what a thimble is. A thimble is. You can Google it. And what it is, the tailors or seamstress used to use this thimble. I don't know if they still do. They used to use this thimble and put on their finger in case you're poking through and don't get stuck by the needle. It's usually a silver, little silver, looks like a hat. And it goes on the tip of your finger. That's how big that is. So I'm going to take this bucket, large bucket, carrying at least a gallon or a couple of liters. And you're going to take this thimble. We're going to walk 30 minutes. We're going to do the same distance, same time, same energy, same everything, under the same conditions. However, I'm going to scoop up and fill my bucket. And you're going to get in there with your little thimble and scoop it up. And we're going to walk back and return with what we could carry. Can you see where the metaphor is going? This is going how some people face life. Some people go up to life with a thimble because they don't want to take too much. They don't want to be too greedy. They don't want to, you know, because the rich are the rich are so evil. So they're just gonna get as little as they can and tiptoe through life. While some people are going up with a bucket and being abundant and having it all come in. And you see, here's the beauty of it. They don't always have to be evil about this. You could be taking that water back to feed a village, to water plants so it could feed your village, to feed your family. But the person with the thimble is taking it back and probably only good for themselves because it's not enough. So how many of us go through life coming up to the ocean, the abundance of life that life has to offer and only bring in a thimble with him? A very little could fit in this symbol, while the bucket is just overflowing with abundance. And even if you don't want this abundance for you, why not do it for someone else? If you're so talented, so gifted, so you're ready to put in the work, you got the work ethic. If you don't want to do it for you, do it for someone else. Get rid of that symbol. So there's a great poem that kind of ties in here. And I remember hearing this poem. It's super powerful. It's by Jesse Rittenhouse. Here it is. I bargained with life for a penny and life would pay no more. However, I begged at evening when I counted my scanty store. Remember, this is going back here. This is old language. Life is a just employer. He, she gives you what you ask. But once you have set the wages, why, you must bear the task. It said, I work for a menial's hire, only to learn dismayed that any wage I had asked of life, life would have willingly paid. How powerful is that? Life would have willingly paid you whatever you ask. So when you go to this ocean of life with your little thimble saying, I don't want to steal, you know, I don't want to be the evil person. I want to be the meek shall inherit the earth. All of these things, the rich man can't get through the eye of the needle. All of these terms that we ever all heard before. Why someone else, you can't have what you have because you're going to take it for, it's a pie and someone else is going to suffer if you, it hasn't happened yet. 
I remember back in 20, 2020, the pandemic, I remember reading that during the pandemic, 5 million millionaires were created during the pandemic. What happened? I thought money was scarce. Why did 5 million millionaires get created out of a time, the worst time in a hundred years plus that we've ever lived? But 5 million millionaires got created. You see, because they're always, and 40, by the way, 40%, I remember reading this, 40% of all the money created over time was created during those downtimes. More money was created. You see, because the world life is abundant in so many ways. But if we walk up to life, with a little thimble in our hand and said, please, here's what I have. Life will fill it. Life will fill it. Now, if you walk up with a bucket in your hand, life will also fill that. It has no emotions about who walks up. It just fills what you have. So I want to ask you, think about your past. Think about the narratives you've heard. Think about your current situation. Think about it. What would you say you're carrying with you? Is it a thimble or a bucket? You tell me, just look at your results that you're having right now. Are you struggling financially? And you know, this can apply in any part of your life, by the way, relationships. It doesn't have to be only about money. This can be anywhere. Where are you carrying a thimble? You know, are you saying there's not many good partners out there, man, woman, or whatever? There's not many good people left. That's a thimble mentality. A bucket mentality saying there's the perfect person out there for me and life is abundant and I'm going to live a very full life. What about your health? What about your business? I can't afford this. I can't afford that. Times are tough out there. Or are you, do you, there's not enough clients, not enough customers, not enough money. People can't afford what I'm offering. There's so many ways we bring that thimble and it shows up. So I want you to sit back and think about any part of your life that you, maybe your health. I can't get in that shape. I can't, I can't, I can't. Where are you living a lack life? A life that could use more abundance, use a bucket to fill it. You see, because in my office, I love this idea so much that in my office, I have a symbol. I have a bucket and I have a thimble. And every time I create something, every time I go to do something where it pushes me to the edge, I have this symbol there to remind me, what are you taking to the ocean? What are you taking to the ocean of life, the metaphoric ocean? Am I thinking lack or am I thinking abundance? I want you to really journal on that. Really look, reflect on your life. Look where you have stumbled, where you aren't achieving as much. And then think about what is my mentality around that? And what's the narrative that I use to describe it? And is that why I'm living that life right now? Give that some thought. All right. So the question I want you to ask yourself is, am I carrying a thimble or am I carrying a bucket? And how can I do that? How can I flip the switch on that? All right. I hope you love that wisdom because I did and I really applied it and I really integrated in my life so much so like I said I put a symbol up to remind me every day to go through life carrying that bucket and remove the thimble all right hope you like it someone out there that you know like it please like this podcast subscribe to this podcast and share this podcast let's build this this concept of this idea of mastery moving towards mastery and very soon I'm I'm actually coming up with a mastery summit. I'm going to keep you posted on that. We're going to get together and we're going to inspire. I'm going to bring together a few of my friends who are also on their path to mastery. And I'm going to share and hopefully, remember, one idea well executed would change your life forever. And that's what I want for you. So stay tuned for that. All right. Until next time, peace and love. All right. We'll talk.